wake you up. <clears throat> wake up. It's the whole point of this, right? Wake up and light up. <laughs> One day, uh, I think it was in like 2009, December or something like that, 2010. No, 2008 or 2009, I saw on the front cover of the Asian Reporter newspaper a picture of three members of Hawaii Land Temple wearing robes with the uh, traditional yellow, yellow hats. And <clears throat> I said to myself, that's the real deal. i got to find this place. So I contacted the Asian Reporter. They gave me the address. I went there, and I was just blown away with how beautiful Hawaii Land Temple uh, is and uh, joined and this was great and I stayed as long as they were as I could until they uh, left uh, for West Lynn and um, while I was there there was uh, a problem with uh, language translation that uh, uh, bilingual abilities and I wasn't getting all the teachings because it was uh, a lot of teachings were in, were in Mandarin so I thought well maybe if I have something at home. Maybe if I practice at home, I can make up for what I'm not getting. And so I started just buying stuff for a little, really modest altar, and it just kept going. And I started getting guidance, saying, "Try, get this, get that, build this, and they'll come." And uh, one thing led to another, and I so I just kept buying stuff over like five years until I got to this point. And um, now it's really nice to build all kinds of practices and. And, uh, but it all started from uh, an article in a local newspaper. <laughs> it really did. Spreading prayers. Imagine this is a disc uh, with sparks reading out in the uh, circumference. <clears throat> Spreading uh, healing and peace and throughout the world. Power of Buddha is bearing <clears throat> compassion of Chenrezig. Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum. Please allow me to offer you this anointing balm. <clears throat> it's stimulating all these. Please, Buddha. Buddha, please accept this offer. Buddha, please empower this. Make it fully pure and sanctified. Buddha, may uh, this use may open my mind's eye, my third eye. It can mean an enlightenment. Help all beings. <clears throat> Achieve enlightenment as quickly as possible. Thank you, Buddha. Uh, very lucky to have a, a good start, what a good teacher. It was really very inspiring. You know, big turning point in my life just to walk into this place and go, wow, this looks great. Wow, these are interesting teachings. Uh, it really sort of um, turned my life around, and, you know, I go to uh, services of other religions, uh, to keep an open mind, you know. Uh, this is just one slice of the universe, but it was worth uh, trying to save a slice of Tibet uh, from destruction. And this is like a last resort, you know, you only use force and then only the minimum re required. The, uh, the object is not to kill, it's to stop the violence. So sometimes just, just let him know that you have the power of the Buddhist, mm -hmm. have the power of force, it's enough to deter. Mm -hmm. I do so avoid violence, yeah? Okay. And yeah, religion can uh, be misused or, you know, you can get lost in it, so you have to so keep your wits about you, you know, it's not a matter of uh, doubt versus faith, you know, it's a matter of um, <clears throat> keeping your mindfulness and awareness and um, so, you know, uh, your wisdom and your and your compassion, your loving kindness, all right, that's, that's the formula, the wisdom and, and compassion equals enlightenment eventually, all right, <laughs> it's very simple, all right, <laughs> so I just wish that all <clears throat> suffering beings, <clears throat> Be free of suffering, that all sentient beings be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. That all all beings, all sentient beings, may they all gain happiness and the causes of happiness. May peace come to earth.